times. So in this problem, u is given as 1 by 2 log of x square plus y square and we have to show that u is harmonic function and also we have to find out its corresponding harmonic conjugate function and the analytic function. So let's start with one one part. So I'll start with the first part that is show that u is harmonic function. Now for that we will prove the Laplace equation for u. If the Laplace equation is satisfied by u then we say u is harmonic. So for that we will find out the value of dou u by dou x. So dou u by dou x is partial differentiation of u with respect to x. So here we will get 1 by 2 as it is. The derivative of this log is 1 upon x square plus y square into derivative of x square that is 2x and derivative of y square will be 0 since I am differentiating with respect to x partially. Next this 2 and 2 cancel so we will get x upon x square plus y square. Similarly if we will find dou u by dou y then we will get 1 by 2 for log we will get 1 upon x square plus y square into 2y so 2 and 2 cancelled so we will get y upon x square plus y square next the value of dou square u by dou x square is equal to now for that I will differentiate this with respect to x once again so by u upon v rule of derivative here we will get x square plus y square the whole square next x square plus y square derivative of x is 1 minus x as it is and the derivative of x square plus y square is 2x so here we will get minus 2x square and this x square will become minus x square so y square minus x square in the numerator and x square plus y square the whole square in the denominator. Now let us find out the value of dou square u by dou y square. So for that we will differentiate this function with respect to y again. So here we will get x square plus y square the whole square. Next x square plus y square as it is the derivative of y with respect to y is 1 minus y as it is and the derivative of denominator is 2y since I am differentiating with respect to y partially. So this is x square as it is and here we will get y square minus 2y square so minus y square upon x square plus y square the whole square or I can say it as by taking negative sign outside it is positive y square negative x square upon x square plus y square the whole square and now guys if you will observe the value of dou square u by dou x square and dou square u by dou y square then they are exactly same but opposite in sign so if we will add both of them then we will get 0 and since the addition of this two second order derivative is 0 we can say that u is harmonic function because this is nothing but the Laplace equation. So we will say since u satisfies the Laplace equation u is harmonic function. So here I will say therefore u is harmonic function. So now we are done with first part. Now we have to find out its corresponding harmonic conjugate and analytic function. So what we will do is we will first find out the analytic function. So to get the analytic function we have the value of dou u by dou x and dou u by dou y. So I will use the property of analytic function where we can get the value of f dash of z. So f dash of z is it is equal to dou u by dou x minus i dou u by dou y. So by substituting the values of dou u by dou x dou u by dou y we can get the value of f dash of z and then by integrating f dash of z we can get the value of analytic function f of z. So let us start. So the value of dou u by dou x that we got is x upon x square plus y square and here we got the value of dou u by dou y as y upon 
x square plus y square. Now guys, we got the value of f dash of z in terms of x and y here. But if we want f of z, then we should integrate f dash of z with respect to z. And therefore, we want f dash of z in terms of z. And to get f dash of z in terms of z, we have to use Milne Thomson's method where we will substitute x as z and y as 0 and we will get that f dash of z in terms of z. So, here I will say by Milne Thomson's method, we will put x equal to z and y equal to 0. So, f dash of z will be z upon z square plus 0 and here y is 0. So, we will directly get 0. So, we got the value of f dash of z as 1 upon z. Now, to get f of z, we will integrate both sides with respect to z. So, therefore, we will get therefore f dash of z equal to log of z plus c. So, this is the value of analytic function f of z. So, here we got the analytic function also. Now, we know that harmonic conjugate of u is v and the harmonic conjugate of v is u. So, since we got the value of f of z and we have the value of u with us, we can easily find out the value of v. Now, for that what I will do is, I will again convert this function of z f of z in terms of x and y and I will separate the real part and imaginary part where we know that in f of z the real part is called as u and the imaginary part is called as v. So, this real part u should match with the given term or the given question and the imaginary part that we are getting which is v is nothing but our required harmonic conjugate function. So, let us start. So, here I will say put z as x plus i y. So, this f of z will become log of x plus i y plus c. Now, if I want to find out log of complex number, then I should use the definition of log of complex number. Now, according to it, it is 1 by 2 log of x square plus y square plus i tan inverse of y by x. So, this is the definition of log of a complex number plus c. Now, if you see the real part, then it is half log of x square plus y square and it is exactly matching with the given real part. And whereas, this imaginary part that is tan inverse y by x is a required harmonic conjugate. So, here I will say therefore, v that is harmonic conjugate function of u is equal to tan inverse of y by x. So, here we got the third part as well. Thank you.